Hi guys. Um, this will be a quick one. Um, I've got to go to work in a couple of hours and I have to get my dogs out for a walk and I have a whole bunch of letters that I was hoping to draft and get off in the mail today. So, um, but I wanted to show you, I received my green Franklin Quest open style binder um, that I was mentioning last week. Um, it came in the mail. It came quite quickly. Um, I really like the color. It's, it's, um, yeah, that actually, how it's rendering on the screen, it's looking a little washed out in the daylight that I've got coming through the window here, but that's pretty accurate. Um, it's kind of a nice sort of, um, muted sort of hunter green color. Um, I like it. It's, uh, it's got a nice look to it. I definitely, I like green. I, I would prefer, I really love, um, the emerald green color that the Philofax Finsbury comes out in, but this is, um, this is going to be a work planner, and so I think actually having a more muted color, um, makes a lot of sense. Um, and here it is next to my red one. Definitely, um, it's a, definitely much more, uh, subtle. Um, anyway, so I've been thinking about, um, since I got this, uh, it, it's just like, I had another Verona leather, um, Franklin Quest binder that was basically the same design. Um, it was my zip with one and a half inch rings, and, um, because it was a zip, the binder was significantly large, like, it was, it extended beyond the ring mechanism by about a half an inch on either side. And the covers were wider than this. I don't, I can't compare it because I sold it off. Um, now I can't remember her name. Um, I sold it to someone who also makes videos. Um, anyway, it'll come to me, but if it doesn't, um, anyway, maybe she can chime in with dimensions if she sees this. But anyway, it's basically the, the pocket layout is identical. Sorry, that was upside down. Um, and as with the other Franklin Quest binders that I've owned, um, very good quality, very nicely made, um, it is made in the U.S., this is, um, it's, it's nice, it's, and, and like my other Verona, it's also, um, slightly padded under the leather, which is kind of cheesy, but, um, but it's not excessive, um, you'll see, I mean, if it's full, it would be a pretty brickish book, um, it has no closure at all. But my intention with this is that it will be sort of a desk or in-hand binder. Um, I think that because it does not have a closure, I'll have to be more careful about making sure that um, loose things are kind of tucked in a pocket or something as opposed to just sort of stuffed inside. Um, but I don't think it's going to be an issue, and it does. It makes it kind of sort of... I, I kind of like the minimalist look of it, so... Um, anyway, I did order, this is a, uh, Franklin Covey, whoops, and it already got all dirty, storage binder. Um, this holds like a whole year's worth of diary pages plus a good chunk of additional. Um, it has, if you're not aware, these things come with these, um, decals to, uh, apply as a label to the back, to the spine, to tell you what year's in this. Since this is going to be a fiscal year, um, a July to June, um, I guess it, I'll have to, I don't know, if I use 2013, I think I'll know what that means. But actually, I think that my fiscals at work go by the following year, so this is probably fiscal 14. Um, so maybe I should just use 2014 on this, just for consistency. Um, and I got the pages, which I've not even opened yet. Um, I've shown you these before, but let me see. Uh, I quit smoking like seven years ago, and my worst habit is, that I've sort of cultivated since then is nibbling on my fingernails. Um, so I tend to, it's hard to open plastic wrap. But anyway, so these come with... Let's see... So I've got sort of an information sheet at the front, um, which is like card stock. It's quite heavy. Um, 2012 and two thir 2013 calendars at a glance with 2014 and 2015 on the back side. Um, 
You've seen these. This is the um, July 2013 index page. When you flip that over, you've got your month on two pages. And if you go one more, you have a monthly master task list. So um, beyond, so and the, so you've got the, the year, um, July through June. Um, sorry, that's backwards. Well, it's still backwards because the camera's backwards. Anyway, mirror images, confusing. Um, anyway, you've got the 12 months, and then this is really nice. Um, you've got, I believe that these come, did they not give them to me? That would be so sad. No, they got, they, they're here. Okay, so you've got, um, one year's month on two pages tabbed with the index and to do pages back on the back sides. Um, you've got a holiday calendar that goes all the way out to 2018. Um, and then you have a notes page and on the back of the notes page you start, you've got a whole nother year of month on two pages that are printed back to back, like file effects month on two pages. So you get a whole additional year of planning um, in a fairly small footprint, um, like that many pages, which isn't too much to carry. So, and I find that really handy when you need to sort of jot things down that are going to be coming up well in the future um, to have those at the, at the back of your binder. Um, a piece of card useful. Um, so anyway, those are, those are the inserts. Um, I did just order, um, Franklin Covey sells a starter pack, which they package a lot of crap I don't need, but they also have matching tabs for a bunch of other categories. And I realized that probably for my work planner, I'm not going to do my A to Z file setup that I do in this, which I'll show you in a second, just to review, but um, because I don't think that I need that much, um, I don't think I need that much information in there, um, but I think that I will be using, um, I will want to have like a tab for projects, a tab for contacts, a tab for um, notes, probably like meeting notes, something like that. Um, so I definitely need to have some uh, additional tab dividers. And honestly, like if they don't match, they um, get on my, on my nerves real fast. So I know everyone else makes their own, but um, if they don't match in terms of size and font and style to the Franklin Covey ones, I'm not gonna be happy with them. Um, that's, I don't know where I get these like neurotic tendencies from because I'm not neurotic about many other things in my life. But anyway, so that's um, that's the green guy. Um, I want to call him the green giant because he's you know pretty enormous compared to this. But um, and my A to Z file that I was just telling you about, um, I have A to Z index tabs. These are actually a uh, slimline address book. I've shown this to people before, but anyway, so like each side has a place for names and phone numbers. I've got names, phone numbers, account numbers, um, contacts at various companies, vendors that I have to deal with. So a lot of that stuff I do need to move. All the work-related ones I'll probably type into a list. So I've got just sort of all of them on one double-sided Franklin Covey size page. Um, and then tuck that in. I think that I can get them all in one or two pages, and then when I need to add to them, I can just print out a new one and punch it and insert. Um, but I really use this in my personal one. This is really helpful just because I'm trying to keep, I'm filing so much different information in here. Um, and I think that how I'm gonna end up balancing, I've been giving a lot of thought to this, um, uh, sort of vis-a-vis -vis whether we need, I need to actually keep two 
diaries in sync, um, whether I need to sort of transcribe everything from personal into work, or everything from work into personal. I think I'm going to try, at least at the beginning, not to bother. Um, I think I'll put work-related stuff in this one, personal in my personal, and um, see when I start, if I start to run into problems with that. Um, I do like sometimes that, like, at the beginning of the day, um, if I look in here, I can see everything I need to do that day from wake to bedtime. Um, so if I've got a work meeting at 1 o'clock, if I've got tickets to see a play at 7, if I've got arrangements to have brunch with somebody at 11, all of that stuff just goes in here. It's all in one place, and I found that really convenient. Um, and um, But I think there's a lot of work detail that ends up going in here. It ends up overwhelming my system because it takes, it's just so heavy, such heavy information. Um, takes up a lot of space and everything, and um, and it's really not stuff that I need to have with me at home. Um, I think that just having a separate one for work um, will likely work fine. Um, I was watching a video, a video from Kent from Oz, um, and he was saying that um, he had tried to divide them, and I think that he said it ultimately did not work, but. Um, I'm going to give it a try, see how it goes. Um, if I need to be copying everything from one to the other back and forth, I think I'm going to get fed up really fast. So, um, But I think that um, having a dedicated work binder makes sense for many reasons for me right now, and definitely developing the habit of having a dedicated work binder moving forward is really practical. Um, I anticipate that I, at some point, will probably end up working in a law firm, um, and at which point it would be totally in, unacceptable to have my work and personal intermingled in one planner that goes like goes home with me every day. Um, you cannot have client matters in a personal planner, and um, more to the point, you can't have them traveling all over the place. Um, it really would need to kind of, you know, be a work dedicated, um, planning tool. So anyway, getting a little blah, 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 tongue tied. Um, but I'm really happy with this. It looks really nice. It was not expensive. Um, I think that purchase with shipping was about 20 bucks, um, which seems fine to me. Um, it's in excellent condition. Um, one, Two of the rings were a little bit um, sort of slightly misshapen, but I was able to sort of bend them back into shape, so they're pretty, they're pretty good. Um, they all closed fine. It was just some of them looked like kind of like something heavy had been set on top of them. Um, but anyway, so this will be kind of a sit at my desk work planner, um, and I think will make a lot of sense. So, and I like the color. It's pretty kind of. Um, yeah, it's like pretty and formal. So anyway, that's my update, guys. Um, I hope you enjoy the video. Let me know if you have questions, and uh, we'll talk soon.